hope the lion realizes that he's no longer young. He has been riding round the vast land of Qua Kingdom since morning. We know that. Just that the king doesn't do this often. At least for once, let him join himself. I'm only concerned about his failing health uh, lately. We all know that. It's okay. Victor. Yes, my lord. From here and beyond lies the future of Iris Global and the Qua Kingdom. I agree with you, my king. The exciting thing is, as soon as the drillings start, the restless youth of our land will become quite busy. That will be employment for all. Yes. Success in Iris Global. And the people will be happy. This has been my lifelong dream. And I hope I shall live to see it come to pass. Yes. You're quite right, my lord. But you have never failed in anything you venture into. That is true. It's like a shadow in the dark. Some people have vowed that I will not succeed. But I know I will succeed by the special grace of God. Uh, shall we go back to the palace before it is dark? Okay. Yes, this is Clifford Bassi. The lion has gone. Thank you. Thank you very much. It has begun. Hello, this is uh, Clifford Bassey. Can I speak with Nick? Clifford, you sound really worried. I hope there's no... Hey, look, look. Can I speak with Nick for Christ's sake? Don't yell at me. Besides, I thought you always knew where my husband is. I do... He's an idiot. I don't know. I hardly use it. Maybe you have another lover you're hiding from me, right? I swear, I don't know. Give it to me. The glass quality. Uh, listen, Nick. The king just gave up the ghost. Cliff, I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. Do you understand me? 
but you, you know me better than all of us. I don't play pranks. All right? The king is gone. You need to start moving immediately. Huh? So that bastard called Victor, whatever, wouldn't start fiddling with your inheritance. Okay. What is it? Shut up. Nick, is everything... Quiet. I'm supposed to be crying right now, but I'm so overjoyed. You know why? Yeah, because the whole world is about to realize that my own world has just started. They are about to witness the genius who has been hiding under the shadow of a giant. <laughs> Good news. Well, they say the lion is the king of the jungle. But I say no. It's the cobra. The venom remains to spread to the plus tree. Oh, that will be taken care of. Done with. Oh, what of our angel of death? <laughs> Our angel of death is safe. She's on her way to you. Good work, Clifford. One down, two to go. That will also be taken care of. <laughs> it has begun. Here we go. Here we go. It's time for celebration.
victory at last! <laughs> victory is mine! What? Hey, 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 don't raise your voices. Nobody your voices. has heard about it yet. No, What is going on there? My lady, I'm afraid I hear bad news. Bad news? My lady, the old one has fallen. Ure, you do not play with things like that. I hate cheap gossip and you know that. My lady, it is not gossip. Edika said he heard it from the palace guard who escorted him on the horse walk this morning. Do you have details? My lady, he said the horse suddenly started behaving funny like some animal that is possessed with demons. Why did Nick inform me? Why am I always the last to know about things happening in this palace? Nick, is it true? Is what true? About the king. I am king now. And if you're talking about my father, he's dead. Why didn't you tell me? What kind of a man did I marry? Cliff. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> hey, Nick, Nick, listen, you, you, you have to calm down. You have to relax, for Christ's sake. Look, this is just too sudden, too sudden. I, I'm telling you, I am worried. <laughs> well, I, uh, <clears throat> I, I'm surprised you're worried, uh, isn't this what you've been nursing secretly? Hey, listen. Though my father may have faulted on certain decisions and judgments, he still remains my father, you know? Yeah. I understand. You see, uh, your father is still alive, right? Of course, my father is still alive. Then shut up because you do not understand or have any idea as to how I feel right now. Look, Nick, you're just being pessimistic. Why do you say that? Why I say that is that I see it in your eyes that you're frightened. You're scared. You're afraid of the enormous responsibilities, I mean sad responsibilities that lay in wait for you. Oh, no. Perhaps so. <laughs> then relax. Why do you have me? Why do you have me if I cannot make things work out for you? Come on, man. Relax, because uh, at the calm, people will ask you. When you have a man like me, you shouldn't have to go through all of this. I'm right here. I hold uh, <laughs> Just a little. Hmm. Ah, that's it. You see, some of these things come and go. <sighs> you know, Cliff, I must admit you've been a good friend and a wonderful advisor and lawyer to me. <laughs> yeah, um, I must say. Yes, what can I do for you? Can't you see we're busy? I want to speak to you. Well, I'm listening. Privately, please. Clifford is no stranger to us. Excuse us, please. Clifford stays. Barrister Clifford, Bassi, I need to speak to my husband in private, please. Cliff, I do not permit you to leave. Prince Nicholas Quale, I need to speak to you privately, alone, right now. Um, uh, Nick, uh, don't worry, I'll uh, be in the living room. wise. This is not the time for you to make irrational decisions. You need wise counsels. And that is why you should speak to Uncle Victor. Not with Cleve. The king despised him. 
You have no idea as to what is going on, right? Now I'll tell you this. That old fox, Victor Oduchi, is the main reason why I've been at loggerheads with my father. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if there was no foul play in my father's death. That man has always wanted to discredit me and my younger brother, you know. How can you say that? How can I say a thing like that? Now, I'll tell you this. Though your father is a chief in the king's council, you know next to nothing about what goes on in Quark Kingdom. I'm talking about the clear cut politics. Now, if not for Clifford, I would have been long banished from this kingdom. Do you know that? This is why I am worried about you. You wouldn't listen to me, and you will be hey, misled. Hey, 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 listen, listen. There you go again with this, your stupid premonition. Now, since you're a very good thinker, I need you to think real hard as to how you're going to conceive and give me a son, okay? And get back to me. So, what do we have on Richard Nicholas's brother? Well, um, nothing much, um, except that he graduated from a British university with first class honors, and uh, the fact that he doesn't want to come back to the kingdom, that's all. Nothing more. A man cannot be completely clean if you search him thoroughly. It is believed that he married a Jamaican woman and they had a son together. The late king was greatly concerned about this because he was hoping that Richard would come back and join the family business. He is actually King Emma's favorite child as he looted Nicholas and his foolish ways. So thanks to Clifford though. <laughs> You have done a thorough job on him by not only misleading him, but brainwashing him to continuously look stupid before his father. Thank you, Ricobra. Oh, you are welcome, my boy. You see, what we are fighting for is for the better men for all. Your late father, who died out of a heart attack, when King Amos quietly deceived him into investing unwisely, we certainly be very proud of you in his grave. Thank you, Cobra. Be good, my daughter. Be good. And of course, Clifford, you know, I trained you because of similar incident. King Amos quietly executed your father with false accusation, planning an uproar in the kingdom. So you see, Besides the gain that will come to us by destroying Emasquale's household, you are also honoring your fallen heroes. I'm really concerned about Sir Victor Oducci. He seems like a very difficult nut to crack. <laughs> I understand what you're trying to say, but uh, you see, eliminating him at this point in time will arouse serious suspicion, which could be detrimental to this whole operation. Well, um, Jeff, I'm watching him closely. You see, he holds the key to the throne because he's capable of manipulating things. Very dangerous human being. But I'm watching him. <laughs> Amos Kuali, my son, who was no fool, he must have planned things in such a way that if anything happens to him, only someone he believes in will be in charge. Well, Nicholas is the first son, he's the heir to the throne. And so, um, the throne is his. It took the ingenuity of an angel of death. To silence him as quality. After several years of refusing to die of arrows, guns, bullets, and even bumps. Let's watch and see 
acid drama will unravel. Hmm. The time is here. The cobra. People of Kwa Kingdom, the sun has refused to rise. A dark shadow looms over the Kwa Kingdom because the lion roars no more. But not to worry. Everything is under control. However, we must tread with utmost caution. Other little, little beasts might begin to hunt without fear. <laughs> Don't you dare sit on that throne. Says who? Prince Nicholas, you have no right to sit on that throne until you are crowned. That is the custom. Our secret tradition. Enough. I said enough. Now sit down. I said sit. Now I do know that my father's corpse is still lying in the mortuary, waiting for his befitting royal burial. Now I ask you, why wasn't I informed of this meeting? It is not correct that you were not informed. Sir of this Victor meeting. Oduchi, I take exceptions to you not addressing me as a noble prince of this kingdom. Prince Nicholas, have you forgotten that you are before the chiefs of? The king's council. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon, Prince Nicholas Quarley. Good! That is what I am to you. Prince Nicholas Quarley, the next king of Qua Kingdom. By this picture, And don't you ever forget that. You get out of my royal way. You may proceed. Uh, gentlemen, before I was rudely interrupted, I meant to educate us on our customs and tradition. Right. Uh, just in case you might have forgotten in your wisdom that Clifford Bassey here has no right to be here. You are correct. I will not listen to your foolish old ways of doing things. I am here to reform, transform, 
change the custom and the cake tradition of our people. Wow. Prince Nicholas, this meeting will not proceed then until he has left. Yes, of course. I don't see anything wrong in this. Let, let him stay. No, gentlemen. not here. Just in case, Prince Nicholas, Clifford Bussey might have been your loyal servant and advisor, or shall I say, a misadvisor. But the fact remains that he is of no royal blood. There is nothing wrong with his A lot of yeah. things. Uh, what what, what is all this? Things. There is nothing wrong about it. Okay, Clifford. Clifford. No if you are asked to leave, leave. Yes. Yeah. Our time. prince is wise. Now what's next? Well, it may interest you, Prince Nicholas Quali, that your father has a will that will be publicly pronounced on the arrival of your brother. That still doesn't stop me from taking over my father's companies. It has everything to do with it, Prince. Because your brother, who, as we speak, is on his way from the United Kingdom, is also a benefactor. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't even speak to me. I mean, why didn't you counsel me properly? Why? You made everything seem so easy. You said, walk in there, take over your father's throne, thereby becoming the chairman of Ari's global group of companies. Yes, I said that. I said it. But I didn't know that Sir Victor, whatever, was going to spring a surprise on us. I mean... I had assumed that... I did not make you my advisor based on assumptions, Clifford! <laughs> well, since I am not of the royal blood, as a victor, whatever, rightly said, one would have assumed that you, with all the royalty and royal blood flowing in your vein, you should know better than anyone else about your father's will. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, Prince Nicola Squale. Also have a fresh delivery of your favorite stuff. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this one? Uh, Please give me, give me, give me. I, I need something to make my head think now. I, I need to think straight. Come on, Please, come on, come on. Come on. Uh, yes, the best ever. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 
Now, my friends, how close are you to your brother? Richard? Yes. My younger brother? Oh, yes. Um, he is my father's pet. Um, but, but he's still my younger brother. Oh, yeah. But he's your father's pet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. What makes you think? That being your father's pet, your father wouldn't have willed a larger chunk of his business empire for him to control. Eh? We need him. We need Richard before Victor and his cohorts poison his mind. And as for Victor himself, I have another plan. Another proposition altogether. Come on, my prince. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Uh. Richard. I'm worried. They are trying to stir up trouble between the brothers. My lady. I thought what you should be concerned about now is how my lord will come king and how you become the queen. Really? Yes, my lady. And I will be a proud maid of the queen. My lady, I visualize the ceremony and I see different queens from different kingdoms coming to admire my queen. Why? Ure. There's more to your fantasy than you can comprehend. The thought of Richard coming back is, is scary. I wouldn't be able to face him. I don't understand. Anything. You are from a far kingdom. You do not know what transpired between Richard and I, or how I ended up marrying his elder brother, Nicholas. Ure. Sit, please. I am the reason Richard has refused to come home after his education in the UK. message from the king's palace. From my father? No, the bearer said it's for you. For me? Yes. I said return it back. Thank you. 
I trust you in life? Well, the only thing that is present to me is my boy. Huh? And you are my boy. Stop flattering. <laughs> Come okay. on, then give me your heart. My heart? You already have them. Well, if I have your heart, then prove it <sighs> by battling with me. Okay, then. Richard, my leg on the saddle. Done. Help me. Go on. Mix it out, love. <laughs> 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 Wow. That's my baby. Learning that? That was good. <laughs> Thank you. You should learn from me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. So, good. Oh, thank you. Wow. Oh, I slept on the prince. No problem. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, learning already? Really? <laughs> I will teach you steadily. Crazy. Because you're not learning. <laughs> Trust me, you're not. Come on. I'll teach you something better next time. Alright? Horse racing? Ah! There's so many other things I can teach you. What? <laughs> I won! <laughs> no, no, no. You're a cheat. <laughs> uh, there are no rules in this spot. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So, give me your heart. Okay, you have my heart forever. Promise? Promise, yeah. <laughs> Listen, there was something I've been wanting to talk to you about. Okay. Shoot me. Um, I'll be leaving the kingdom very soon. Come on, don't look at me like that. Just a couple of years. A couple of years? Yes, I'll be traveling to the United Kingdom for my studies. What becomes of me then? Come on, baby, you know I love you. But I also want you to know that it's imperative that I go for my studies so I can be able to take in charge of my father's business. Your elder brother, Prince Nicholas, can run your father's business. I understand. But my father's wish is for me to travel. And I can't disobey him. I, I can't wait here. My heart will be broken. Come on, your heart will not be broken. Because your heart will be where I will be. So will you wait for me? Don't be silly. Of course I'll wait for you. I mean, there's no other man there for me. <laughs> You're so disgusting. That's why you can't ride a horse. Yeah. yeah. My daughter, what troubles you? I'm not happy, father. And why is it so? I want to travel to the UK to study. I know this sudden decision has something to do with Prince Richard, right? Yes, father. I want to be where he is. Helen, my daughter, you know I love you so much. And I can do anything for you. But unfortunately, things are no longer well with us the way it used to be. I lost a fortune in a transaction I had last time. And it crippled me financially. Father, that's why you've been unhappy. Why didn't you tell me? There are things a father cannot discuss with his family. Anyway, I'm striving to see 
how to restore our family's lost glories. I'm sorry, Father. I have no idea. I was discussing with Prince Nicholas last time over some business deal and uh, he mentioned something like uh, wanting to see you. I don't like the way he stares at me, Father. He stares at me in a very strange manner since Richard traveled. The young man means no harm. It will please me if you accept to see him, please. so depressing. My father was and he's still very indebted to Nicholas. It was the heartbreak that killed my mother. The king had to marry me off to Nicholas when they realized I was pregnant. It was this heartbreak that killed the queen. Shortly after, I caught Nicholas with his concubine. We had a fight. I lost the pregnancy. And... And since then, I haven't been able to conceive. My name is not young man. My name is Prince Nicholas. Oh, pardon me, Your Majesty. Prince Nicholas Kuali. I'm an old man now, and I seem to forget so much things. Sir Victor Oduchi, or would you prefer I address you like I used to in my childhood as Uncle Victor? Well, as it pleases my prince. Well, I've come to apologize for my behavior the other day. I was, um, foolish. Apology is accepted. I understand that the sudden death of your father and the obvious responsibilities could be overwhelming. You're very correct. You see, you've always remained my favorite uncle because um, you're very patient and understanding too. Uh, uh, thank you, my prince. Oh, now that you have obviously made your point, uh, I'll take my leave. But you will know that even before you summon my attention, I always remain your loyal servant. Uncle Victor, I have a proposition to make to you. Oh, well, I'll, I'll be glad to be of help if you find my services worthy of your approval. Sit down. I do understand that you still are battling to save the life of your first son who got smitten by a strange illness. Uh, that is correct, Your Majesty. And it's costing you a fortune. That again is correct. Well, I am not my father and I can never be like him. But if there's any way I should emulate the man, it should be in the direction of taking care of his people who are my people as well. And in turn, I require your wise counsel because, like I said earlier, I have been um, foolish. I'll be glad to be of assistance, Your Majesty, in any way you see me fit. Mm. As my father's counsel, 
I'm sure you have foreknowledge of what the will contains. No. No, no, Your Majesty. I was never privileged to know. Uncle Victor, I'm offering you 20% of what my father owns if you do direct everything in my favor. My prince, do you by any means have any reason to believe of that the will might not be in your favor. It is my birthright to take over from my father. So you see, I just only need your wisdom. Oh, well in that case, you have no reason to bribe me then, Your Majesty. I'll take my leave now. Do you have a wonderful day? Why are you standing at Kimbo? Sick. between you and Prince Nicholas. He, he took me to somewhere and he raped me. He did what? He raped me. That's a lie to speak against the prince of this kingdom. Do you realize that? I swear. You cannot swear because I know what happened. A lot of young women in this kingdom would give their right hands for what happened to you to happen to them. Well, soon he will be the new king in this kingdom. Think of what you stand to gain as one of his concubines. Now, have you spoken to anybody about this? No, chief. Good. Do not let other servants know what happened to you. No matter the level of their inquisitiveness. Yes, Chief. Good. You will be adequately rewarded for keeping a seed lip. Hmm? Whenever Prince Nicholas wants you, oblige him. <laughs> With or without my consent. Eh? Yes, Chief. Eh, you may now go. Thank you, Chief. It's okay, sir. Please. I don't like seeing you like this, seriously. Come on, 
want me to join you? It's okay. Advice chief gave to you, that's what got you to this pin Bye. Please, please. I didn't believe in you, please. You know I can do that, Lily. You're my wife to be. And everything that concerns you concerns me. So please, my dear, I I demand to know the truth. Please, come on, please. Sorry. Lily. I I tried. It was just too long. <laughs> Pride of a man if he cannot protect that which is his. What? Papa, it is better to live in shame than to die of foolishness. Please. I am no coward, Lily. I am no coward and will never be a coward. Nicholas. Nicholas. You will not get away with this. Thank you. 